Today, there are 26 million people worldwide who have fled to other countries as refugees, more than half of whom are under the age of 18. We are now witnessing the highest levels of forced displacement on record, and it's happening at an alarmingly increasing rate, putting pressure on countries like ours to absorb refugees. There is no question immigration is a divisive topic. Pro-immigration activists highlight success stories like Steve Jobs, whose father was a Muslim immigrant from Syria. Some extremists go as far as idealizing a world without borders. Anti-immigration activists use fear of cultural and economic change and exacerbate it by the threat of terrorism. Many of these extremists stoke fear and hatred towards minority groups, especially the Muslim community. Countries are being overrun by migrants, mostly Muslims. Muslim immigration means more Islamic terrorism. The terrorists are sneaking through. It's the That's only it. religion that acts like the mafia that will f***ing kill you. Popular American news outlets have become home to a slew of extremists who regularly inhabit the airwaves to distort the truth. But the root cause of the violence and persecution driving the displacement of millions is almost always ignored. About 74% of today's refugees originated from six places. Syria, Afghanistan, South Sudan, Myanmar, Somalia, and Palestine. These refugee populations appear to be quite varied. Some are Muslim, others are Christian. They hail from across Africa and Asia. Some fled civil war, while others fled genocide and ethnic cleansing. However, they have one sinister similarity. In less than 48 hours, Israel has hit four different countries with military strikes, attacks on Syria, Palestinian areas of the Gaza Strip, neighboring Lebanon, and even Iraq were all reported. And Israeli companies are sending thousands of weapons to fuel the civil war in South Sudan. While there's a US and a EU embargo on selling arms to Myanmar, Israel continues to do so. Israel is the seventh largest arms exporter in the world, but is only 32nd in GDP meaning Israel's arms industry plays a far more prominent role than in other major arms exporting nations, which have much larger economies than Israel's. The Israeli arms industry is powered by its ongoing military occupation of Palestine, its 13-year brutal siege on Gaza, as well as conflicts with its frontline neighbors, such as Lebanon and Syria. They develop, test, and deploy some of the world's most advanced weapons systems, like white phosphorus. Then Israel turns around and exports not just the weapons systems, but the suffering they cause. For instance, half of Israel's overall weapons sales are to India, whose government is also engaged in an illegal military occupation of Kashmir. If you account for the refugees in other places where Israel is known to have sold weapons during periods of civil war and genocide, like Rwanda, Bosnia, and Sri Lanka, Israel would be partly responsible for over 81% of the world's refugees. This makes Israel a major force for destabilization among the nations of the world. But you will not hear that on popular American news outlets, nor will you hear about the $38 billion in military aid that our government gives to Israel, which continues to support the Israeli arms industry, which is driving the world's refugee crisis right to our borders. Hundreds of thousands of migrants will eventually find their way to North America. It's just a matter of time.